What's up everybody? It's Erica and I am just going to finish off this week with this video for you because the topic of conversation has been stress still, right? Whether it's stress over your health or the health of somebody that you love, stress that your uh, kid just left for college and is away from home, um, stress that you have to manage little ones with virtual school, you know, or just stress of finances, um, running your business, not seeing your family, whatever, right? Stress is always around us. And what I always coach my patients with is how we manage our stress because I always say you can't always get rid of it and sometimes this could be good stress too like buying a new house or getting married or having a baby you can't get rid of this stress but we have to manage it better and I always have you know ways that I suggest to people to help manage stress. So whether it's taking a walk, actually getting a good night's sleep, staying off the booze, the wine, the alcohol, watching your sugar intake, doing some deep relaxing breaths, taking a yoga class, doing some meditation, and I get pushed back a lot saying, I can't do that, or that never helps me. And so my go-to, when people say that is this heart math device. So it is a, a device with a doohickey that you clip onto your ear and that you turn on and then you have an app on your phone that you follow directions and it monitors your heart rate variability and whether or not you are in a state of coherence. And when you're in a state of coherence, you manage your stress better. You get out of that fight or flight mode into that parasympathetic, your rest, relax, and digest mode. And we're in that fight or flight mode too much. Stimulating, chronic stress, and then we're pushing into that adrenals and that increased cortisol sustained increased cortisol and then that cortisol takes a nosedive and then we have this chronic fatigue. So that stress response is good and it's normal until it's not normal anymore. So it's good because it gives us a quick burst of energy. Blood goes to our muscles, our brain. Um, it's shunted away from our digestive tract. So our blood pressure goes up, our blood sugar goes up, our um, uh, immune system is enhanced. But if that's on chronically for a long period of time, then we're gonna have high blood pressure. It's gonna push us into diabetes. It's, we're gonna have some gut problems. We're gonna start breaking down muscle tissue, the lining of our gut. We're gonna have joint pain. We're gonna have brain fog. We're gonna have immune disturbances and um, possible problems and pathogens that we're exposed to now that we are reacting to. So it's so, so, so important to get this stress under control. So I am going to post uh, in um, after, after this video what the difference is when I do what, what works for me, which is an alternate nostril breathing. It's a yogic breathing technique, which totally works for me. It might not work for you, right? So you need to find things that work for you. And I love this device because it helps kind of figure that out. It gives you that biofeedback so you know, gee, you know, there is some science to this, and this is scientifically proven that this, this box breathing, this deep relaxing breaths is helping me. And then you might be more prone to do it more often because again, you can't always get rid of this stress. And I equate stress to making withdrawals out of your bank account. And if you keep on making withdrawals out of your bank account, without making those deposits. And those deposits are, you know, just like I was saying, all of these things to help manage your stress, you know, being with people that you love 
and laughing and getting good rest and have being out in the sunshine, being out in nature. If you're not making those deposits into your bank account and all you do is make withdrawals out of your bank account because you are just stressed all the time, you're going to end up in trouble, right? You're going to end up in the red. You're going to overdraw your account. So we need to find ways to do this. And so if you don't know how to do this, you know, reach out to me, reach out to people that know what they're doing. I've been doing Facebook lives with yoga instructors, meditation experts. Um, I have an energy healer coming on and like all of these things, you know, you have access to whether it's in person, finding uh, virtual classes, whatever, you know, you need to really find out what works for you and then put it into action. Even if, it's, even if it's for a minute, two minutes, three minutes a day, just start making these little changes and they will add up to big changes in the long run. So I hope you have a great rest of your Friday and I hope you have a great weekend and I will see you in the next video. Take care.